Tom, it's great to be back in an All Ireland semi final. Um, yeah, you know, I think time time flies. You can't imagine that the twelve months is nearly gone since we were, I suppose, in Crow Park at the same stage last year in the competition. Um, but yeah, to be in an All Ireland semi final again, I suppose we never explicitly stated that we wanted to be that the target was to get back to Crow Park or anything like that. But it was definitely just a, a one game at a time mentality, and to be there again is definitely satisfying anyway. But Still have to, to finish the job and hopefully, you know, two big games left in the season. Like, what was it like this time last year, knowing that you were heading into an All-Ireland semi-final against Cork? Um, I suppose, yeah, it's a bit a bit different from this time last year. Last year we were kind of, I suppose, maybe coming in under the radar and not much was being expected of us completely different this year where, I suppose, a load was expected of us, you know, to, uh, to I suppose, get through this and maybe go to a final, but... Um, you know we're we're not kind of going to get into any of that talk. We know the challenge that Kilkenny will bring to us, um, and that'll be a huge test Sunday. And we're just kind of looking looking forward to it, but hoping obviously to get over. It. What's it like with that much expectation on you heading in? Look, you're carrying the favourites tag. Is there a lot of added extra pressure? Um, to be honest, uh, not us as a group, as a, inside in our own camp anyway, there hasn't been, there's been no talk of it, and even if, if it does seep in, if you, when you're talking to people in the public and whatnot, and you you see it like you can't avoid it, at all, you can't avoid it all. But I think uh, as players, we're we're well used to coping with that expectation. I suppose even the way that we've handled it so far this year, coming in winning the league in the Munster on the back of our All Ireland success last year, just kind of shows that this group is able for. So as any hype that maybe might surround us, that uh, we're well able to stay focused on the job that we have to do. You kind of have those three big titles to your name now. Like, is the hunger still there to go on and get maybe back to back? Jeez, yeah, definitely. I don't think you you go into an All Ireland semi final lacking hunger anyway. Um, yeah, when we I suppose maybe when we completed the triple by winning that Munster title. A few weeks ago, it, it was I suppose huge for this group of players to to add those titles to the to the All Ireland and maybe can complete that triple. But you know, hunger definitely I don't think is a, a question when it coming into this game on Sunday. Um, we want to go on and achieve more, and you know, Sunday is just hopefully another step in the right direction for this group. Yeah, you enjoyed the win after the Munster final, but then it was down to work again. You had quite a break. Do you think that break will knock momentum? Again, I I don't think so. You know, for for us, we got a. A few people were talking about that long break as you say it was four weeks for us but we got a few days off after the Munster final to enjoy that and it really was only I suppose maybe three weeks into this game of, of hard training and to be honest that it was kind of it's ideal for us we kind of needed maybe that week off after a tough Munster championship and you know we had a long league campaign as well so it was, it was nice to get those extra few days rest rather than going in training straight away looking for an All-Ireland quarter final and trying to prepare for that so I think it'll actually stand to us just that I've got that little break and I don't think uh, it'll affect their intensity levels there. There'll be no flatness there come Sunday. Yeah, used to winning now at this stage, even in underage teams. But what's it like to have a routine before these games? What you do? Is there anything specific you do that's different? You're smiling anyway. Uh, no, to be honest, there, I, there's nothing too too different that I do. I, I generally follow this the same championship week as championship week. You you go to your training sessions, you, you eat right, you look after yourself. Um, I have no special ritual or anything like that. I'm not like I wouldn't be one a fella like that at all. Um, I just try and I suppose for myself the one thing I maybe not that I focus on but that I like doing is maybe just keeping myself busy and you know not occupying my mind on the match or anything like that. I like to just really anything but the match is what I like to go through my head in the days leading up to a, a big game and it'll be the same c- come this Saturday. What's it like in the Morrissey household? I know you try not to think of the match, but there's two of you there, yourself and Dan. Um. Yeah, it's just two of us there. It still, it still makes no difference. We we we, we we can chat, but we can chat about a lot more than <laughs> than just the match this Saturday. I, I I can assure you that. Um, obviously, you know the family will be excited, and you, you know it's not like it won't be mentioned at all. Like that's that's impossible, you know. Um, but we try and get all distractions, you know, with tickets and stuff like that, just out of the way and get the family sorted as early as possible. Um, just that we can have a clear head coming into Saturday and be fully focused on, I suppose, our own preparation and making sure that we're ready to go come Saturday evening. You're facing Kilkenny, a side that you can never really write off, which is kind of scary in a way. They're very unpredictable, Tom. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say unpredictable. I think you, you know exactly what you're going to get with Kilkenny. It's going to be 
They bring a, a huge intensity and a huge work rate always. Um, they have quality hurlers there as well. Um, we just about got over the line in a, a thriller game with them last year in the All Ireland quarter final. And to be honest, we're we're expecting nothing different this Saturday. Um, they're starting to pick up a bit of momentum. They beat Cork well. Had a great performance against them in the quarter final, up in Crow Park as well. So. Do you know, I, th I think we're, we're going to be expecting a huge game and I think that's exactly what we'll get. As a player, I think nowadays the stuff of dreams is what you've put down that pitch, you know, especially last year getting the goal in the All-Ireland final. I presume you were at home and you are back when you were small, like wishing these moments. Yeah, of course, there, there are moments definitely that you, you like to have maybe to look back on it when, when you're finished maybe hurling and stuff. But really at the moment, it's just about looking forward to getting the chance to play there again and you know, to be up in Crow Park. It, most players, every player will probably tell you that's that's exactly where you want to be and to play there at the we got lucky enough to play there in the league final this year but to, to be there at the business end of the championship is, is really what I suppose is a, it's it's the best feeling as a player that you can kind of look forward to and to play in is a, an unreal experience. You mentioned that when you finish hurling you know that there's probably a lot of possibilities but I feel like modelling could be one thanks to your little woods ad. Jeez, no comment on that one now. I, 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 I got enough stick for that, I, I won't comment. <laughs> well, what, what was it like that day? I feel like you could be called up with like head and shoulders, like all those soccer ah, players. Geez, Valerie, no comment on that. Not getting dragged into this conversation now. <laughs> well, look, Tom, the very best <laughs> look to the weekend, Dorry. Right. Thanks very much.